guys, it's Johnny. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a, uh, a video that I just really felt... Uh, let me make sure I'm sitting right, because I'm sitting in this weird position that I feel like kind of uncomfortable, so let me... Uh... Oh, hey! Hey, guys. It's... No, I'm not going to do it again. Um, so, I've been in this... In the last, maybe, year, two years, I've dated four Filipinos. This video is about my experience with dating Filipinos. The first Filipino I dated, I actually met on Grindr. Shocking! I deleted my Grindr, guys. Um, I will actually I'll show you. I'll show you later because I found this new thing that I could do on my phone. Um, but I deleted Grindr, so I'll show you the guys later. Uh, proof that I deleted it. So I am super, 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 super into Filipinos. You know. Some of them are really cute and I find them attractive. Anyways, so I'm on a cruise and I'm on Grindr because, you know, on a cruise now you can get Wi-Fi, which I think defies the entire purpose of going on a freaking cruise to disconnect from the world and you're still connected to the world. So I remember growing up, we used to go to quinceañera cruises because, you know, I'm Cuban and we have 98 cousins and they all wanted to do a cruise ship, you know, to celebrate their 15th birthday to remind themselves of how our family came, you know, <laughs> from Cuba on a raft. So with that being said, we've been on lots of cruises. Well, the last few cruises I've been on, there's been internet or Wi-Fi that is, like, very inexpensive. So, we went uh, on this cruise, um, and I go on Grindr, and there's guys. Well, I did, for some reason, I think it connects to the wireless of the ship or something. I was actually also able to see the guys that were on other cruise ships. One of these guys was one of the employees. His name, I'm not going to mention it, but it was funny. We start talking. Uh, when when you get back to Miami, he's like, "Oh, you know, I dock on the state. Come and see me for like two hours." Because on top of that, he couldn't leave his ship like for X amount of hours, or not, but like shipping back to the Philippines or something. So whatever, we went on a few dates. We went to dinner. We went to this place called Dolphin Mall in Miami, which is like the suckiest place to take someone on a date. But anyways, we went there. We were limited with time. And let me tell you. I was like, yeah, maybe it's him, you know, like, maybe he's different, you know, so on and so forth, whatever. We didn't work out, super jealous, like, let's say that I didn't respond within two minutes. He'd be like, is everything okay? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Is everything okay? I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you? Anyways, we didn't really work out. He went his way, I went my way, nothing really happened. I then started dating this guy that I also met on Granger in the U.S. Um, he's from the Philippines, he was here on vacation, dude, we totally hit it off, this guy was, I thought he was super cute, he was super nice, but he was very, he, you know, he comes from like a wealthy family in the Philippines or whatever, I think, you know, and he was just way, way too much, like, wanted to put makeup every day, drew on his eyebrows, like, he needed to look a certain way, and I'm like, listen, bitch, if it rains, you're gonna like melt into like a puddle. So he just was very intense and also had that insecurity and that like, ooh. Um, sex with Filipinos is super interesting because they're super ashamed of their bodies. So um, me and this guy actually went to New York together. Um, I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Like I live in DC, I'm like, let's just do it. So we went to New York together. He got a room, I paid for like tolls, like, you know, like whatever. I think it was a good split, you know, between what we, what we did. It was kind of nice, um, but he, you know, he, he would do stupid things, like he had like four cameras because he was vlogging or blogging or whatever, and I get that, like he has a YouTube channel also, um, but I don't know, there was just something off about it, and I was kind of mean to him because he just pissed me the fuck off. Um, I was going through like a really tough time in my life, and he decided to be like an asshole about things instead of just being like honest with me. That's that guy. Um, then I talked to some other guy, and honestly, him and I just kind of broke it off because I think just I noticed that I poked my face a lot I need to stop doing that while I'm recording um so I need to um to don't you hate when you have like a brain fart because that was like a full blown seizure I just had right now like it was actually a stroke I literally felt like my brain going into like little bits and pieces so sorry about the third guy that I dated the third guy that I dated him and I, honestly, like, he's, he's super handsome, I think he's super sweet, he's super educated. I really liked him, I liked him a lot, but 
he's in the freaking Philippines. So regard, you know, realistically, I'm probably not gonna go see him anytime soon. I had a trip planned to see the other guy and then I canceled it and then this guy got mad because he wanted to see me. It was like this whole entire thing. So anyways, that's what happened with that. Um, so I told myself, you know what, John, the normal Filipinos, clearly, they're all the same. They all have the same issues. They all have the same body dysmorphic disorder. They all have like, you know, this like severe anxiety or they're like hidden from their parents. Like it was like this recurring thing like, oh, no one knows I'm gay or I can't act gay or I can't do this or I can't take you here. And I'm like, F you. So fourth guy recently, um, 22 years old, 24 years old, 24 years old. Um, parents are cool. Everything was normal, but he does the same thing that all of them do. I don't know why. Like, if you're Filipino, like, do you know why guys do this? Is it just for to Americans, or is it kind of like a general thing? Everything for them is like the end of the world, and they're like super subconscious. Like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I, I do you like that? It, it, it's okay if you don't. Like, I'm sorry. God for freaking bid that I don't respond a text message in, you know, two minutes, it's like, are you okay? Is everything okay? Babe? 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 Why? Why? What's going on? It's like, really? I have to scratch. You know, it's really annoying. I realize that I think I'm talking. I get itchy or something. Um, but I'm trying to, like, keep my hands away because I notice that even when I lecture at work, I realize that I touch my face a lot. So... Uh, I've been trying to stop that so I don't know what it is I just you know what I think I'm gonna stop talking to Filipinos because you know I've had four guys that I've dated for a while and they're all the same like they all do this weird like freaking out and being jealous and and you know one thing with me is you can't threaten me like don't threaten me so you know I didn't respond because it was four in the freaking morning here because of course on top of that they can't tell me they can't tell time. Um, they just don't understand the time concept, I guess. And I, I know their time concept. I know that they're an hour before me, so I know that if it's 10:38 p.m. here, it's gonna be 11:30 in the morning. 11:38 in the morning for them. I just, I know that schedule, but I've also dated for Filipinos, um, so it's just, it's weird. Do, do you guys like have you ever had that experience? Like, are you watching this video because you're going through it? Um, because I think that Filipinos are very Americanized, and I'm Cuban, so I'm Cuban-American. My The way I was raised is very, very much like Filipino culture. You know, there are some differences, of course, because there's some, you know, Asian influence, but for the most part, very family-oriented, very fun, very this, very that. So I think that, you know, Asians uh, or Filipinos and Cuban-Americans, I think, have a lot in common because Filipinos have a lot of American influence, and they also have a lot of... Um, Spanish influence, which if you know any history, Cuba was colonized by Spaniards. So we have a lot of the same things. We have a lot of the same words. So, you know, aside from the Asian influence, which Cuba doesn't really have, um, but I do, I love Asian anything. Um, and I, my grandmother's like a fourth Japanese. So for me, I do have like some Asian influence. Um, I just don't understand like what they do so comment below let me know are you going through this Has this happened to you because seriously like no more Filipino for me no more I'm done like I cannot they're crazy like all of them um, but if you're not and you are a cute uh, gay Filipino boy um, that is looking for someone nice and you're in the United States I'm tired of dating the Filipinos from the Philippines because you know what? I'm not gonna pay a trillion dollars to go see you. Especially if you're psycho. Although psycho is my type, so if that is you, comment down below. Call 1 800 I Love Psychos and I'll answer your call. If, if you need me, call me. No. <laughs> Anyways, this is not one of those videos. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe, comment. Hopefully, I can get a new camera because I'm tired of recording on this computer. Have a good one. Oh, you guys can see my fingerprints now. I heard that uh, you shouldn't do that because it can steal your information. But if you want to steal my credit, that's fine. Just go ahead and do a bankruptcy with it because there's not much to steal. But um, if you do, um, just let me know. Hook me up with like a you know, $500 gift card or something. Goodbye. Okay,